Yo, what's going on boys? It's your boy Average Bender and welcome back to the channel. Today I got a bit of a different video for you guys. Today we're just going to be doing a quick little story time. Just a little something for you to listen to for just, just a short amount of time. I don't know how long the video is going to be depending on how much I want to go into length about the story. But anyways, yeah, um, it's something that I tried I think in 2020, late 2020. And uh, I didn't know how it did. I didn't know how well received it was by you guys. But um, if you guys want to see me do this more often and kind of just have these laid back videos where it's just a little gameplay and some audio of me telling a crazy story from my experienced life, just let me know because uh, I will definitely do that for you guys because I enjoy doing this. But uh, yeah, anyways, with that being said, uh, let me know if you guys want this. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, let's just get right into the video. So growing up, I had this childhood friend and you know what we'll go on ahead and name him mark so mark was kind of this great guy met him in kindergarten such a great friend just a great guy to be around um yeah and he was just one of my he grew up to be one of my childhood best friends all through elementary school but um aiden ended up going to plymouth and things were looking good at first he made some new friends it was great to see him, you know, prospering in Plymouth and all that good stuff, you know, kind of getting himself out there. And uh, it was great to see him being who he was. But um, as he was there and as we rolled into the middle school phase, as you guys know, teenagers get very weird and sometimes annoying when they're in middle school and teenagers in general. And uh, yeah, they ended, he ended up kind of becoming a person that kind of thought he was the stuff. I mean, he had all these girlfriends and some of their relationships were weird. And I'm not going to get into the story because that's not what the story is about. But anyways, he started changing a lot from what I knew him from when he was in third grade after he got into middle school. So it's definitely weird. We, at this point, we were still hanging out. He was still the same person and everything. But I was kind of noticing to see some changes. And then about 7th grade hit, and he started hanging out with some friends that were making some bad choices. And I was like, aw, come on, man, you know better. And he didn't do any of the stuff they did, but I was like, dude, come on, you know better, man. You got better friends in Plymouth for sure. And uh, he, I don't know if he reassured me or not, but he definitely, he definitely had some great friends. And in 8th grade is when Mark really changed. So Mark, he kind of... You know, he was, I don't want to say that he changed for the worse, because he's definitely, we'll get into it later, but he's definitely changed a lot from who he was in 8th grade. But in 8th grade, he was hanging out with those same people, and he was doing the stuff they're doing. I'm talking about vaping, I'm talking about drinking, and no, I don't condone any of this stuff, so please, please, please don't do any of this stuff just for me, okay, guys? Anyways, um... Yeah, so basically he started making really bad decisions and I didn't like that. And I kind of, I was kind of pushing him away because I was like, dude, you've been my childhood friend since Kidder and, and you're going to go with all these people you met about three years ago that are making bad decisions and do everything they do. That's kind of, it's kind of not cool, man. So yeah, anyways, it was kind of starting to get a little annoying and yeah, it was uh, not very cool of him to be making wrong decisions and I tried to steer him in the right path, but he ended up making a very dumb decision. I One time I came over to sleep over at his house and he kind of shunned me off and started vaping with his friends and all that. And I kind of just had enough. And this is like mid-pandemic because I'm only a freshman right now. So it was about last year. And I came over and it was like mid-pandemic and I was hanging out. And uh, I played the old uh, fake sick card. You know, I wasn't actually sick, but I didn't want to be there. So I just said I was sick. And uh, I didn't really think about COVID. So yeah, I kind of just played the sick card and then I go home, which was good on my end, but then thinking about it now, it probably wasn't the best idea to do to get out of a sleepover. Anyways, moving on from that, yeah, we didn't really talk for like about a year and it was it was really weird. Um, I mean, not talking to your best friend for three years in a row is definitely something that you never thought would happen. So I'm very, <laughs> I was very bamboozled, if that's the word I can use here. But I just basically lost my best friend of eight years to a bunch of kids that were vaping and drinking, which is, you know, honest. So, yeah, basically, I just lost my friend to a bunch of kids that were vaping and drinking, which is uh, pretty hard to go through. I'm not going to lie. And, uh, yeah, I was really mad. 
but um, over the past year, we've kind of been reconnecting a little, you know, still talking, but like not as much as we should be. And we both play hockey and he got into this big altercation with one of my teammates at the end of a practice. And it was, it was just a bunch of stuff that uh, was, was kind of hard to see. But um, regardless, about two or three weeks ago, he, uh, he texts me and he says, hey man, uh, what's up? And I'm like, whoa, this is weird. This is the first time he's texted me in like three months. I go, yo, what's what's going on, man? And he says, yeah, nothing much. And I said, how are you? And just normal friend talk, normal catching up. And uh, he brings up, uh, he's like, yo, you want to come to the Dells? And I'm like, and, the, and I live in Wisconsin. And uh, we went to this place called the Wisconsin Dells. Great place. We stayed at the Kalahari. And uh, so, yeah, he invited me over to the Kalahari. I asked my parents. They're, chill, they're super chill with it. So I go with them. And, uh, yeah, so I meet up with him. And he's in, he moved so he moved to Plymouth and then he moved again while we weren't in while we weren't best friends and I didn't know this. It's his grandfather's house and it's a pretty it's it's a pretty cool house. So I go in there and I'm starting to converse with him and uh he seems really normal. He seems like he did when he was in sixth grade, which is really nice to see, you know, he's kinda talking about the same stuff we always used to talk about and really nice to see him kinda changed, you know. And so, yeah, we take the two-hour uh, trip to Lake Delton or the Dells, and uh, it's it's bound to be a lot of fun. You know, the Dells, come on, what can't be fun? And uh, so, yeah, we arrive, and uh, we don't have the dance competition until tomorrow, so we got to find something to do. And in this uh, Kalahari, there's something called tomfoolery, so we mess around there for a while, and then um, we decide to meet up with one of his friends, who is actually the same name as him so there's another mark and so it's mark and mark his name's mark shank his name's mark and argue so it's a bunch of cool stuff you know really cool and um yeah so they basically have the same name just different last names and it's really really cool so i meet with this guy the the mark argue guy super chill the guy that i didn't know super super nice and uh, yeah so basically you start hanging out with them and uh we decide to go swimming okay and uh, we went there because it was my friend's sister's dance, um, like dance recital. And they were having a little tournament at the Dells in the Kalahari. So we stayed there and uh, honestly, it was great. For the first couple of, uh, for like first hour we swam, we went down slides. It was tons of fun and I was just great to finally be conversing with him again. And then we decided, you know what, let's go in the hot tub and you know, the hot tub, it's really cool, and it's not like most hot tubs where it's just inside. This one actually leads outside, so you get the blast of cold air in the winter, plus the hot tub feel, which is just an amazing sensation. And so, yeah, we're going there, and uh, their sisters were there, so their sisters follow us in there, too. And we're like, like, they're all sisters, and you know how sisters are siblings, if you have younger siblings. I don't, personally, but I know how it feels like they're bugging you when you're with your friends or kind of just like get out of here but they stayed for a while and uh there were these two people right next to us and uh for the sake of the video we'll call them the it was a it was a mother and a daughter so we'll call them we'll call them stacy and karen because you'll see why i named them stacy and karen so we're chilling in the pool and uh one of my friend's sister's friends she accidentally, so this is in COVID times, so, well, it is COVID times right now, so we're at the water park, and, uh, you know, at a water park, you probably don't want to wear, wear a mask, because, you know, you don't want to waterboard yourself, basically, and I get some people are just trying to be really smart, and I totally am for that, but in a pool setting, I don't think you really have to, necessarily, but anyway, she does, and, uh, yeah, so we're just in there, and, uh, one of the friends actually knocks this dispose and here i have to clarify this because it's this is about to get ridiculous this is one of those disposable medical kn95 masks so this d basically doesn't cost like any money you get the box of it for like 15 bucks and there's like 300 in there so it's basically just one that you wear and then throw away so one of my friends accidentally knocks this into the pool and uh stacy the daughter looks at her and says what the f what the bad word insert here did you did you do that for and we're kind of like just we didn't notice this happening we looked over and we see the like, mask in the pool and we're like oh whoa 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 and then like she, and then the mom steps in and says 
what do you think you're doing to my daughter's mask? And we're like, what? We, this girl is like, I think they're like nine or 10, which they, they're literally young. They literally are bound to make mistakes like this. And the Karen is freaking out. Both of them, Stacy and Karen are freaking out on them for no reason. And it's ridiculous. This lady is just laying in to a 10 year old because she accidentally knocked a can 95 mask into a pool on ac like on accident. And it's a disposable one, bro. Like it's not even that big of a deal. And they're both just yelling. And uh, my friend Mark, uh, Mark Shank, he actually goes, okay, ma'am, I think you can stop yelling at her. She, she's old enough to understand her mistakes. And uh, the Karen kind of goes, what did you say? And we're like, you can stop yelling at her because she's literally a child and it was a mistake of hers. You can stop yelling at her, please, ma'am. And she just starts laying in everyone. She's going off, oh, you guys don't know any respect. You guys don't know what to do. You guys are so irresponsible, knocking in other people's property and damaging it. And at this point, I just go, ma'am, it is a disposable mask. You don't need to be freaking out this much. And she goes, oh yeah, what are you gonna do about it, you little shit? And I said, absolutely nothing, man, because I would never hit a woman. I'd suggest you get out of the spa before I call security. I wasn't actually gonna call security. That is the weakest move of all time. But uh, as soon as Karen here hears security, she is like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We'll get out of here. And she, her and her freaking her and her daughter just bolted out of there and uh i honestly found it really funny because they go from yelling at a 10 year old for knocking a disposable mask and as soon as i bring up security to them they're bolted out of there so i don't know if they've maybe had experiences like this before because they were definitely freaking out for no reason so it was really just it was just crazy to see her just yelling at this little girl for no reason and it's kind of weird to see you know what i'm saying and Honestly, if you're gonna be like that, that's just so messed up, you know? Just don't even be like her, bro. It's literally a child and she accidentally did something and it wouldn't even hurt you. It's not like she it's not like she accidentally dropped her phone in the water. Now that you could be mad at because that like actually has pretty good value, you know what I'm saying? Like it, especially if it's like one of the newer iPhones, it's like eleven hundred, thirteen hundred dollars. So give or take. And so for you to be freaking out like she just dropped your phone in the water when it's literally probably a 15 cent dollar disposable mask is pretty ridiculous. But uh, yeah, basically we just end up going the rest of the trip. We see them a few times and they kind of just walk right past us like kind of the walk of shame. And we're like, bro, like I can't, I still can't believe you did that. And uh, yeah, I guess moral of the story is like, don't be mean to people like over small things especially because if you freak out on somebody for um literally dropping your 15 like a nickel and a dime they can literally pick up and easily replace it like even if they lost it you can easily replace 15 cents like there's no point you're just kind of looking for trouble but uh yeah i think that's gonna do for the video i hope you guys enjoyed uh, that was just a quick little story time I thought I'd put out. Um, yeah, it was just pretty crazy to see that go down. And I knew as soon as it happened, I was like, oh, this is going to make a great video. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And, uh, yeah, if you guys want to see more of these, please let me know in the comments. If you guys have any stories to send me, please send them to me uh, over social media at Guy in a Hockey Jersey on Instagram, at Your Average Ben on Twitter, or ask me for my Snapchat, AbramVDP. Any of those will work. Just send me the story if you want me to say it. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it for the video. And uh, yeah, I'm out. Peace.